Good morning guys. Um, this morning I am getting some things set up for the kids to do some Bible journaling. Um, this is the last week of our space unit. We are rounding it out and we did not get to do um, some space journaling. So I thought that this would be a nice way to end off the unit by getting in some Bible journaling. So I found the perfect set of Bible journaling um, print and pray downloadables that would end off our space unit really nicely. Um, so I went ahead and purchased those, printed them out, and included them in the kids' uh, Bible journaling work boxes. But today, the kids have gotten into their own little things. Cameron has been working on his Hello Atlas. He's really um, interested in some of the other languages now so he's doing a little, um, making a little resource of his own for French and for German. And then Savannah and Kendall were working on uh, one of the body apps which is perfect because the body unit is next up for us. So they've been doing that. So I went ahead and turned on a little bit of worship music to kind of get them nice and mellowed out and just really in a nice mind frame to be able to to journal and you know just spend some time creatively in the word so I just took the contents of their Bible work boxes and I laid them out on the table so I'm just gonna kind of share with you um, what's on their table and a little bit of what they get done today I'm actually going to pop some popcorn which is not new for us uh, we pop popcorn every day basically but I have um, a stovetop popper and so here's a fun little story for you I love God so much <laughs> because um, one day I was watching one of Abby from full-time wife life one of her videos and she was showing her homeschool room and inside of her homeschool room she has a popcorn um, machine a popcorn popper and she was talking about how much of a great addition to their homeschool room it was because it kind of just calmed the kids down and I remember thinking that is so perfect because we eat popcorn every day we love it and I would love to have that in our um, school room so I went ahead that night and looked it up on Amazon and I found one that was like $65 and I was like uh, yeah I don't think I'll be doing that right now and I went about my night the next morning you guys my mother called me and she said Serena look at what I got look at what I got and she turned the camera around to show me and would you know that it was the same exact popcorn popper that I had looked at that night she said she had found it on the Goodwill it was a brand new unopened box she found it on the Goodwill online and she was sending it to me so what a super blessing how awesome is that so now we added it to our schoolroom, and today we're going to pop popcorn in it for the first time I thought it would be perfect we've got our music going we got our popcorn popping and we have all of their supplies um, set out so they can do some Bible journaling and spend some creative time in the word today Yellow, we're making the light around the dark. 
There are some scientists out there that believe that the heavens were not made by God, but instead they were made by a big bang. So they think that all of the planets and the stars and the everything else came from a big bang in the sky and it just was there. So he wanted to show me something he had been working on. He started drawing little models of his own inside of his Explain Everything app. It's basically an app that allows him to draw and animate some of his stories. So it looks like he started working on the systems of the body, which is perfect because our body unit is next. And then out of nowhere you realize that the little one was actually paying attention. They notice and observe and absorb so much more than you think they do. Muscular system. Nice job. And then is this. Very cool. The lungs. Okay. Respiratory system. Teeth. That teeth is down. Next letter is H. The darkness. Here's the darkness and here's the light. Awesome, the Kendall. Light. Keep going, bud. <laughs> and now on to their finished work for the day. I try to give very little direction. I feel like it really helps me see inside of their little minds when I am not trying to force them to do things the way I'd like them to do it. I can really see how they're absorbing information and how their minds are working. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you for the love and joy you gave us to enjoy this day and have fun this week or weekend. I praise you that we will become strong and not weak. I mean, can, can much be better than this? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in our next video.